So here I'm going to show you uh, how to use the colorize assets. So in this scene we have our a demon character that we've turned into kind of a female mixed with the succubus character. Uh, we have this outfit uh, and the hair. And so the character, the hair, and the outfit are all set up uh, for this colorize. And so the first thing you need to do is you go into the materials for that asset, in this case the outfit, and with the outfit selected in your scene here, so we select those in the scene pane, double click on this one, you'll see all of these assets will have something called custom. And so generally it'll look white, but it'll say custom. Double click on that. And now you'll see that our character has white and there's some black elements. And so what you need to know from the colorize is that you'll see the black elements will stay the same and the white and gray elements will tint to whatever color um, you want. So now we need to go to the surface pane, which will be familiar to some of you and maybe not all of you. And so we're in surfaces and you'll see the three assets you have selected. That's the outfit. And if you open these up, you'll see right here something that says colorize. And so you select those and you can either select just one. So let's say the top and you can go to base color and make it whatever we want. So in this case, let's make it this pink color, hit okay. And you'll see here that this has changed the pink color. And so the black lace stays as it should and everything else changes to this pink. Then conversely, you could select all the color eyes if you all want them, to, you want them all to be the same color. Let's take this nice like purple, hit OK. And now all of the assets are this purple minus, like I said, the black. Now, if we wanted to look at the other assets in this scene, we can say and grab the hair. Now with the hair selected, we go to the hair materials. And again, you'll see custom. And so double click on custom. Now the hair is white with some depth. Back in our surface tab, surfaces tab, you see the hair, you open it, you'll see colorize, go to colorize. And here we can change the color. So let's try like a dark kind of midnight blue. Um, and we'll go more blue. And you can see the color there. And now hair has things like translucency color. And here we're gonna leave those mostly white because that works pretty good. But if you wanted a little bit more depth, you could add a bluish purplish color and you'll see that in there. Now obviously I have denoiser on so you're losing a little bit of the depth but should kind of give you the idea. And then finally, if we wanted to change the character themselves, we collect, select the character here, go to the materials for that character. And again, you'll see something called custom. Double click on that. And now our guy has kind of this gray look, select him. Back to our surfaces, you see colorize, and inside colorize we can change the base color. So let's make this guy, I don't know, red skinned. And you need to come down and you'll want to change the translucency. So you can either make these the same or you can pick a bright color here and more of a desaturated version of the color for the translucency and that'll give you that full, you know, red demonic vibe. We could go try something more blue if we want. And here you can either use, like I said, a pale color of the primary color, or you can pick um, essentially a complementary color. And for those that don't know, that's essentially the inverted color, the other side of the color wheel. And that can give you different like depths uh, or like a purple with your blue, and that'll just give you an overall different vibe 
Um, so that's that's just good to know when doing characters. Characters you might want, um, you know, a little bit more depth from that character. So here we'll do like a green and a yellow, and that very much changes what the green looks like with a yellow versus a purple versus, you know, a paler green. So it just gives you an idea of the different things you can play with. So yeah, we're really, I'm really excited about this colorize. I think it's really cool and it just gives you a little bit more flexibility and a way to extend you know, your different products and really customize and personalize that final result for whatever you're making.